And hi everyone, I'm Kelsey Carlson. And I'm Amy Hawker. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We have some developing news in the Winston Smith case. We're now getting a look at some of the evidence in that deadly shooting. Smith was shot and killed by members of the U.S. Marshals Task Force in June. No charges will be filed against any officers. Paul Bloom joining us now. And so Paul, you've been poring over these photos, audio clips and documents today. Kelsey and Amy, remember there are no body cameras here, no video that authorities know about capturing the moment immediately before and during this deadly law enforcement shooting. What the file does contain is an audio recording, an interview transcript, transcript excuse me, with Winston Smith's girlfriend. She was in the passenger seat right next to Smith and believes she narrowly missed being killed herself that day. I was like bleeding everywhere and I was terrified because I thought it was a gunshot and I thought I was going to die and I just kept thinking about my son and then that was it. It just happened so quickly. Like I was just on a date. Shortly after the deadly June 3rd encounter on top of an uptown parking ramp, the lone non-law enforcement witness to what happened spoke to investigators. Norhan Asgar said she'd been going out with Winston Smith for a few weeks. The couple had just finished up lunch at Stella's across the street when police descended on the Maserati Smith had borrowed from an acquaintance and chaos ensued. Police was like, put your hands up where we could see it. I know they were talking about Winston because you can clearly see my hands up. Like I was cooperating. I put my hands all the way up and he wouldn't put my, his hands up. He's like, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. All of a sudden, I don't know if the police shot the car or if they like broke it open, but the, the glass like something shoot it in the car and then I I felt like something coming towards my head so then I, I went like this and then it, it glazed right here and right here so it would have hit my head if I didn't move. Ascar's audio recorded interview just one of the many pieces of evidence in the redacted BCA investigative case file released publicly on Wednesday that includes more than 1,000 pages and scores of photographs. Some were taken at the crime scene capturing the bullet riddled Maserati, the gun authorities insist Smith fired from inside the vehicle, as well as Ascar's bloodied clothing that she voluntarily provided. Just last week, the Crow Wing County attorney ruled the shooting justified, clearing the undercover Hennepin and Ramsey County deputies who fired on Smith during a U.S. Marshals Task Force operation to apprehend the 32-year-old. There is no known video of what happened. Ascar had said then she did not recall seeing Smith with a gun. And you don't know anything about Winston? No, I don't know anything about him, and that's the crazy part. Like, I'm just, like, wondering, like, is he a f***ing killer? Like, though, there was, like, 50 officers there. It was, like, a whole SWAT team. Like, what the hell did he do wrong? Now, the deputies who fired their weapons that afternoon, their identities have not been publicly released because they were working undercover for the task force. They declined to be interviewed by the BCA, but they did provide written statements that are contained within the file that was released today. Paul Bloom, Fox 9. Thank <laughs> you.